Let me give you a quick introduction to digital analytics. In this particular video, I am going to talk about what is the purpose that digital analytics serves and what is the business usage. So digital analytics in one sense, in one line can be called analysis of digital data. And you collect digital data from your digital channels like web pages, from Facebook data, from IVR, from mobile applications, from mobile website, all these. So whatever data you are collecting from these digital channels, the analysis of that call we call digital analytics. But what is the purpose it serves? What you are trying to do? It actually tries to find answers like, you know, source that how you are getting customer to your digital channels, like who is coming probably from which age group, which gender, which location or from which channel I is he using mobile apps, is he using website. Let me show you an example. In this case, what it is showing from which areas people are coming to you. It is giving you how many people have visited, how many people, what percentage of people are visiting. It also tells you like, okay, which age group people are coming and it says about male and female. In among male, you have maximum 25 to 34 group like that. What percentage of your visitors are male? What percentage of your visitors are female? from which kind of device they are logging. They are logging from computer or mobile phone. So in some sense, it is giving you the source that who is coming to you and how. Secondly, the digital analytics tries to find answers like, what is that customer is looking for? Is he looking for product? Is he looking for service? Is he looking for information? On your website, it ha can have all the three things. When someone is trying to search a particular product on e-retailers sites, let's say Amazon, he can look for product or he can look for, you know, order status. He can look for just for information of the product. So what is he looking for? Or, you know, how are they moving from one location of the website to another? From IVR to, from, let's say from web page to IVR, maybe your chat is not supporting a particular thing due to which they are calling IVR. You know, maybe there is one particular information that is missing due to which they are calling to your call center and that's how they are increasing your cost of contact. So, and fourth thing you can think of, why is a customer calling? Can you think of that, you know, you have not delivered the product in four days and that's the reason he is calling. So in short, the digital analytics tries to find answers of who, what, how and why. But when you find these answers, what is the purpose? What is the objective that you are trying to solve? The purpose of digital analytics is actually can be combined into three things. Either you are trying to support customer, you are trying to manage your internal process or you are trying to manage su suppliers. All your work can be divided into all the three areas. And this actually starts from the time the customer comes to you. Let me show it to you. For the customer support area, the moment someone comes and searches just let's say children movie, you know, even if someone has searched about children MOV, you are giving helping him to make selections quickly. Did you know that most often than not when people put children and after that MOV, you, the Amazon knows that these are the search words that people look at. So what are you helping? You are helping customer to buy efficiently so that he can decide quickly without pain. Similarly, the moment you buy something, let's say you have taken this product, it is saying you frequently bought together. It is giving you another hint that most of the people are liking these products. So essentially, if you have gone and taken, you know, this product, it is helping that you can think of buying these also. Or, for example, if an educational uh, marketplace are not far behind, if you search for, for example, if you search a statistics MBA and if it's showing this particular course, the moment you click on this course, it shows you the st student who viewed this course also viewed. So it understands that probably 
the MBA students are also looking for something like this. It also shows you that what are the courses from the same author. Why? Because they know that most often than not, a particular person has a similar kind of interest. So if he has put a course on statistics, by example, he would have put a similar course on statistics. And that might be true, right? I mean, you see data analysis, logistic regression, these are again a statistical course. So what are you doing? You are helping customer to buy and decide quickly and efficiently. Similarly, the moment you, let's say, even YouTube that way is a, an example of how it is helping customer to decide quickly. You put cluster analysis, it gives you relative rank ordering of videos or it says which are the uh, videos which are getting preferred and there are good chance that you will end up clicking those which are in the, tip, in the beginning. So that's how it is helping customer to decide quickly so that he can buy, he can make his decisions quickly. So if you summarize, in all these things what you realize that there is a huge amount of personalization. It is showing you something which is related with clusterless essence only because you bought this, you are trying to look for this. It shows you something related with statistics because you looked for statistics. It shows you that moment you looked for Barbie movie, it showed you which are the movies which are similar. So it does huge amount of personalization for the product that you are looking at, for similar and complementary product like buying together, the person who saw this product also viewed this product. These are again trying to give you personalized support online. Then you know they usually give you through your preferred channel. If you are logging through mobile apps, probably your application should your your detail is you know even after that if you fail to co communicate, it should come into your mobile apps. You know and it also helps you to get it. The digital analytics helps the business to send a targeted email. Let me show you a beautiful example of this that which Coursera does. It has sent me a mail that you know these courses are recommended for you. What? Computing for data analysis, big data in education, scientific computing, social network analysis. So it understands that what kind of profile I am and accordingly it is sending me a targeted email which talks to me, which gives the course which are relevant to me. So if you think of in all these things what you have done, you have done personalization, you have communicated and supported so that customer can decide quickly. In fact, when you fail to buy something because of network issue, there are good chance that e-retailers will send you an email saying that looks like your order couldn't be processed because of network issue and here you can click and buy it again. Same way, the another purpose of customer support or the analytics, digital analytics can be that you are trying to find out post order and order fulfillment related issues on customer behavior. For example, what is that which is causing anxiety to the customer? Is it that you have delayed the fulfillment due to which he is coming and checking order status multiple times? Or is it that you have given that there is an exchange offer that was valid and now the exchange offer is not showing into his cart or into his order detail and that's why he's coming and checking again and writing to you. So you can understand even after post order that what customer behavior is, hap is happening, what is causing anxiety, what is causing drop. I mean think of you know you ordered something and after three days it's, it says you that okay this order is out of stock then probably you you will not feel like going to that particular website again, right? Similarly, let's say you have made the full payment and that has happened with me in one particular case. You have made full payment to a particular order and now the vendor, uh, the supplier comes to you or let's say the product comes to you and it, it is written cash on demand and the, uh, the, the courier boy demands money to you you will not take it right because you know that from your credit card you have made the full payment and there is a good chance that after that you probably may not think of going to that website again. So you have to even post order issue related customer behavior analysis can give you good insight 
that what is causing customer anxiety what is your ca causing your customer to just forget your website or forget your you and what can you do to get the customer back get his trust back this is the most important thing in this area i mean the moment you have you know for some reason you have caused anxiety or your customer has dropped what can you get what can you do to get his back get him back on your business so these are the analytics that you are thinking in the the digital analytics which you are doing for customer support there are lot many things that one can do for internal process management for example you can think of what feature really matters to customer you know when you are offering and giving different let's say different advertising it's talking of different feature and in one particular case you have more leads than others you know what really matters to customer similarly you know that campaign got the attention or not you get, you gave different campaigns did it get attention you do test versus control comparison you have given offer to let's say you know uh, sent emailers to so many people what is the conversion that you are getting from there and what the conversion you are getting from other people which is natural so it worked or not it worked test versus control or not sometimes you call, call it also ab testing because you have a product a which is like one feature and the, in the next section you are talking of the product a with another feature and then you are try, trying to check that how it is working you also do product rating that which product has a competitive advantage which product is being liked by the customer and at the same time like you get this kind of mail it's good but at the same time you have to digital analytics has to take care that you stop spam review what is spam review that a computer is trying to give very good rating right why because these are false these actually doesn't belong to actual customer so you also try to do the product rating because that helps you to understand which product is being liked by the customer and ultimately what is being liked by the customer is the final thing similarly what is helping customer to decide finally that is another purpose i mean these are internal pur purpose so that you can probably you design your communication your personalization very much on those things it the another usage of digital analytics can be that inventory management and procurement you know which item is being ordered and how much you can think of when it is the time to inform suppliers for the fresh supply so that you do not run out of stock you can think of which item is just lying and probably you should just try to run an offer and somehow get rid of that or probably should discard it so these are the usage of digital analytics from the internal process management point of view there is another thing that you can do is warehouse location i mean where should you keep your warehouse so that you can meet your customer demand in the most optimal way you can think of how will you understand the fraud which is happening let me give you an example amazon uh, flipkart all these people they want more of the individual customer to come and buy from their website now think of you know why because they also want to increase their their reach it's a b to c channel business to customer channel now if some retailer comes and tries to buy things in multiple product gets an advantage and goes and again starts selling actually he has utilized the offer in the not so optimal way so what probably amazon can do you know they can probably look at a combination of email cookies mobile number to understand that you know is it the purchase is happening from the retail retail uh, retailers or from the end customer and if they realize that it is happening from retailers they can try to nab that so that's how digital analytics the one of the usage of digital analytics is also the fraud analytics also you know what is the lost opportunity analysis which are the area where you are not able to serve which are the area where you do not have reach and if you come to know that you are getting lot of request from those areas you know how much volume you are lo losing just because you do not have a reach to those areas 
can you forecast that okay what is the volume that is expected because that helps you a lot to prepare your internal process prepare your supplier can you do cross device stitch stitching means you understand that okay it is the same customer who was looking for your product on the website and now he is looking for your product on the mobile or it is the same customer who checked your product detail on the mobile and has gone to the website to make payment so cross device stitching again helps you to serve customer in a very nice way because you understand what was his preference in the beginning what is he looking for so that you can help him to decide quickly similarly there are many things that is done on the supplier side so that can be said that the third purpose of the digital analytics you can say that vendor rating the moment you take vendor rating it actually serves in a three way it you know you get to know that is providing the best service and correct information about the product or not secondly you know you also get to know that is supplying on time or not third you sometimes promote the right behavior sorry this the typo it's like it should be promote the right behavior how it is let's say you know when you when someone does as per the expectation and you send him kudos what does it mean then he understands that you are looking into that if he is providing solution to end customer you know you are you are saying it's good so that he can do more and more of those things so in in some sense by doing these things you are also promoting the right behavior that's another use of digital analytics so you help him to supply on time because you are informing him well in advance based on forecast that these products are fast moving so that he can prepare his processes better so if you think of what you have learned that what is digital analytics all about what it tries to answer what is the purpose of digital digital analytics and you saw some examples you may think of subscribing to this channel so that you can get to know the new updates and all those things